You're listening to Making Money Online with Lisa Johnson, the podcast that tells you what it really takes to build a business and the simple steps to get you there. I'm determined to share with you the reality of easy, simple business marketing tips to make passive income so that you can start making money online. Hello and welcome to today's episode. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I hope you're enjoying your summer holidays as well, or you've just finished your summer holidays. Today, I wanted to talk to you all about how to add affiliate money to your business. This is one of those things that when people started talking about affiliates and affiliate money when I first started, or even actually in the first two years, I didn't really know what they were talking about. And I was a bit confused by it all. So I thought I would start off by talking to you about that today. It was one of the income streams that I did fairly early on in at the end of year two of my business. I started to make money from being an affiliate myself and it did change the game a little bit. I'm going to talk to you about how. So what it really means when we talk about being an affiliate, it just means you're making money from selling or recommending somebody else's thing, whether it's a product or a service, it doesn't matter. You're recommending it. People buy it kind of through you, you, normally through a link of yours that they've given you. And so they know it's come through you. And so then you get some kind of kickback. There is lots of different ways to make sure that you get the best out of being an affiliate. So what I want to talk to you about first is the different ways you can make money from being an affiliate because there is more than one, but also how to be a good affiliate, how to make sure you get the best out of it, and also that the person you're being an affiliate for does as well. So let's start with the things people used to ask me for first. So right at the beginning of my business, the things that most people would say to me is, oh, what tech are you using? You know, like your email system, what kind of systems are you using to send invoices? What tech are you using to do your quiz? Like people would ask me this kind of stuff all the time, like every day. And at the beginning, I would tell them, like at the beginning, I used Active Campaign. So I'd say, oh, I'm using Active Campaign at the moment. And they'd go off and buy it. Or I'd say, oh, I'm using, you know, Lead Pages or Thrivecart or, you know, all these different systems, Dubsado. And they would go and buy it. And then I realized that there was such a thing as an affiliate for that. So that if I was going to recommend things anyway, if people were going to ask me and I was going to then say what I was using, then I may as well make some money from it. So I called them all and said, Is, do you have an affiliate link? And every single one of them did. So they all gave me this link. I signed up for it and they gave me this link. And then every time I recommended it from then on, because I was going to recommend it anyway, I would get a kickback. They would use my link and I would get money. And that money all adds up over time if you're doing this like every day. What I would say though, caveat. I do think that you need to do it with integrity. You will lose trust pretty quickly if you're one of those affiliates that you're just affiliate for everything because people will know that you're only recommending things just to make money from them. So they won't trust you, won't believe what you say. And you don't want that. You want to stay in integrity. So only actually become an affiliate for products that you actually like (laughs) and either are using or you just like, or maybe you really like the person that runs the company, that kind of thing could be a good reason. You know, if you share the same values as somebody who runs the company, that's a good reason to be an affiliate because you can be safe in the knowledge that you're recommending good people and making money from it. If you are going to do it this way, the best thing to do is to put links everywhere. So don't just wait until people ask you, put them on your website. If you're writing a blog post about a system you use or about a piece of tech, make sure that the link is in there so that if people then want to go and buy it, the link's there. If you have like a website or one of the pages, you could put something along the lines of things that I recommend. If you look at the big players out there, they all have this. I was looking at Amy Porterfield recently. She has one called Tools of the Trade and every single link on there is an affiliate link and she makes money from it. You do have to be careful here with affiliate links. It's illegal to just give people a link and not say that you're an affiliate. So make sure that somewhere on that webpage, it does say that you are going to get money for recommending it. By law, whether you do that on Instagram stories or in a blog post or anything, make sure there's a little star at the bottom there that says, I am making money from this link because it's only fair. But you can do it in such a way. I remember when I was an affiliate, 
I wrote something along the lines of, I love this program so much that I'm always recommending it. So I have become an affiliate for them so that I do make money when I recommend. And people were absolutely fine with that. I realized then after that first kind of initial making money from just small things, really, it was just even like Kartra, things like that I was making money from. I realized there were other ways to make affiliate money. I kept seeing it everywhere. So one of the ways is Amazon. Amazon have a quite simple affiliate model where if people use your link for anything on the site, you make money from it. And at the time I was in my membership, the GSD Society, I had a, I suppose it was kind of like a book club where Every single month, I would say, oh, this is the business book that we're reading this month. And I would give them the book. And I realized after way too long that if all of those people are going to buy that book from Amazon, I really ought to get an affiliate link for it. And so I did. And I got this affiliate link. And for a while, every time I put the book out there, and there were probably about 500 people in my membership then, a lot more than that now. But even if 500 people go and click and buy a book, through your affiliate link, you're going to make money from it. And the good thing about Amazon, I don't know whether it's the same now, but at the time, if people were on through your affiliate link for the book, and then they go and buy TVs or washing machines or something while they're on at the same time, you would still make a percentage of that as well. It would still be your affiliate link that was used, which was pretty cool. I'm not sure whether they've worked that out and changed it or not. (laughs) It's worth having a look. And then the third way that I realized I could make affiliate money was when people were asking me to teach something that isn't my forte. So what I see a lot of people doing wrong here, because we think we're the best at everything, (laughs) you know what we're like as entrepreneurs. If somebody says, oh, can you teach us like how to do something that we don't normally teach? We will do it. We'll find a way to offer it, even though it's not our thing. But I think it's really important in business that you're known for your one thing. Like I can teach lots of things, but I'm known for passive income. So if somebody comes to me and asks for something else, I'm not going to start teaching it just because I can. I would rather, if it's not my absolute zone of genius, have an affiliate for somebody else that I really trust that is doing it. So one of the first people that I started, in fact, it was, there was one other affiliate before, which I'm not even going to go into because it was such a bad experience. But the person that I've been affiliating for for three years now is Selena Sue. So she has a course called Impact in Millions, which is all about PR. And people used to ask me all the time, how are you getting all of your PR? And I'd done Selena's course. I'd, you know, been in Selena's mastermind. I knew how she worked. I knew that her values were aligned with mine. And so when people kept asking me about, can I just do a course on PR? That isn't something that I want to be known for doing. You know, that isn't my one thing. So instead, I said to Selena, I'd like to be an affiliate for her. And so she gave me an affiliate link. And every time she launches, which is once a year, I launch for her to my audience because I know that they need PR and I make a profit from doing that. And it's a really good profit. So, you know, find someone whose values align with yours. If people, if your audience are asking you for things, get an affiliate link instead. And the fourth way is if you've done a program or course before, and so you can recommend it to others because it's helped you. And actually, on the other side of things, this is how I've made, you know, a lot of money in my one-to-many program because I have affiliates now working for me who have already done one-to-many. But it's also how I've made a lot of money each year because I'm an affiliate for Selena Sue. And at the moment, I only affiliate for one program, but I might increase that a little bit because there's some programs out there that I think are really good right now. So, How affiliates work, generally, if you're an affiliate for somebody, especially if you're an affiliate for someone else's launch, which is the most lucrative way of doing it, you know, I have affiliates for my own launch and they make more from being an affiliate for me. Some of them make more from launching my product to their audience than they do on any launch they've ever had of their own stuff. So it can be, you can make more money from it than actually just launching your own things, which is why I think they're so effective. Um, and how they normally work is you get a percentage. So let's say you're an affiliate for one to many. We give 50% of the profit. So after we've paid the people that we need to pay for the bonuses and that kind of thing, 50% of the profit goes to you as an affiliate. So you can imagine that that can get pretty high if people are selling a lot and they do have, have one to many. You know, we have people selling 80 to 100 
courses to their audience. So you can make quite a lot of money out of that. But also what normally happens with being an affiliate on a big launch is there are contests. So there's like a a leaderboard, the person that sells the most, the person that brings in the most people to the challenge or to the video series can get lots of prizes there. I've won two years in a row now a trip to Mexico with some amazing people who are also like in the top 10 of Selena Sue's mastermind. So like, it's a really cool thing to do because I get to hang out with people that I would normally not get to hang out with because I happened to come number one this year. And one of the good things about it is if you, like nobody knew who I was two years ago, I'm still quite like hidden now, (laughs) but two years ago, it was even worse. Like no one knew who I was and I became an affiliate for Selena and I came in the top four. And it got me known quite quickly because there were a lot of people in a launch that big that were very well known and I was beating them. I was making more sales than them, even though my audience was less than 2,000 people. And there were people in there with you know several hundred thousand on their audience and I was, I was winning. And that can really make people stand up and take notice of you. So like, for instance, in my affiliate this year, there was somebody who went from never having been an affiliate for me before to being like in the top three. And so people now know who she is because she did so well. They know she's a great salesperson. So there's a lot of things you can get out of it. You get prizes, you can get, you know, your profile can be raised. It can help you practice selling as well, because I find that people think it's much easier to sell somebody else's stuff than their own, especially those people who don't like to shout about themselves. And so they never do big launches because they always get scared at that part where they're like, buy my stuff. I'm amazing. They don't find it difficult at all to say, buy this other person's stuff. She's amazing. And suddenly they realize they're actually really good salespeople and they could do their own launches if they just got over that, you know, mental block of talking about themselves. So it can work really, really well. And you get a lot of the work done for you as well in somebody else's launch. So how to be a good affiliate, how to make the most out of this. My quick tips are, you should treat it like your own launch. You should treat somebody else's launch as if you're launching your own product or service. That means putting time in the diary where you're not launching anything else. I had quite a few people this year that I thought we were going to do really well in my affiliate launch for one to many. They had the perfect audience for it and they signed up to be an affiliate. We have an application process and we accepted them based on their audience and they didn't sell anything. They didn't make a sale. And it was because they thought, oh, well, I can launch Lisa's course at the same time as my own. And it will never work that way because people will get confused about what to buy. You need to treat it as if it's your own launch and you would never sell two of your own products at the same time. So, you know, it's the same. All the prep work and everything that goes into it, you should put just as much prep work into somebody else's launch that you're an affiliate for as your own because then you will make more sales and you will make more money. And that's the point of it all. One of the other things that can really help you be a good affiliate is to give a really good bonus. People do bonus shop. I don't think that it's affiliate launching is known very well in the UK yet. In the US, it's really normal and people are doing it all the time. And so people know about affiliate shopping, bonus shopping. So this is where, you know, if I get an email that, I don't know, let's say Marie Folio's B School or Amy Porterfield's course, James Wedmore, like all the big ones in the US, you will find that they have lots and lots of other big names as affiliates. And so what tends to happen is, you know, you want to buy it. So you go and see what all of those people are offering and you buy it from the one where you like the bonus the best. You're going to get something else from the person that's selling it to you. So giving a good bonus can mean that people will come and buy from you that weren't even in your audience before. The third thing is to use the emails that are given to you, but make them your own. So what happens when you're an affiliate is generally the person whose launch is will give you ready-made emails, social media, graphics. We do all of that for hours. And when I've been in others' launches, they give us all of that. And, you know, you get an email and you get told when you can send it. Like this can be between this day and this day. But when I read the emails, I always like to really personalize them. Sometimes they're unrecognizable from the one that's been given to me. But you know, you know your own audiences, you know what they like, and also they want to hear you speak, your language, 
not the person whose launch it is. And also, there's nothing worse than being on several people's email lists and receiving the exact same email from 10 different people. So change yours around a bit, make it a bit different. But, you know, use them. They're there for you to use. And the fourth way that works really well is to talk about how the program has helped you. If you've taken that program, this is the reason that I do well with Selena's, because everybody in my audience knows I've taken that program and that I get loads of PR. Like I've been in Forbes, I've been in you know, all of the national newspapers, I've been in Fast Company, I've done The Guardian, I've been in The Telegraph. There's a lot of PR that I've got. And most people know that I do a lot of my own PR. I do sometimes use other people, but a lot of it I get myself. And so if they know that, then they're more likely to buy a program that's being recommended by me who has already got results. And it's the same with one to many, which is my program. When people talk, we often only use people that or pretty much 99% of the people that are affiliates for one to many, they've done the program. So when they say to their audience, you know, this is how I'm making passive income because I did this course, it's a much easier sell because they've done it themselves. So it's much more trustworthy. So talk about it on your social media. It's a really good way to make passive income affiliate marketing because after you've launched, after you've done that bit and they're doing most of the work for you by sending you emails and sending you all the social media and the graphics, you'd have to deliver anything. And yet you make like every single month, I make thousands of pounds from Selena Sue's launch and I'm not doing anything, but it comes into my bank account every single month because she's getting paid monthly by those clients that booked through me. And so I'm getting paid monthly. It's a really good way of doing things. And it's an additional passive income stream semi-passive income because you do have to actually launch at the beginning and you do have to take it seriously. But when you're not delivering anything and still making money, that's a pretty good thing. There are some companies that their main income is just affiliate launching. So all they're doing is they have a big audience that they've grown on maybe Instagram and all they're doing is launching other people's products for them over and over and over again. And while I think this does work for a time, I think you can make a lot of money for a time, I do think it's risky because I think your audience is there for you. And if all they're seeing you do is sell somebody else's things over and over again, then the trust, I think, will start to go because it's like you don't sell any of your own things. You're only selling these other people's things. Why am I even on your list anymore? Why am I following your Instagram anymore? I may as well go and follow those people. So I do think you have to be a bit careful and be choosy about who you become an affiliate for, because it's about, you know, you sharing the same values, your audience. I I made a monumental mistake really early on. I will put my hands up to it, as I always do, just tell you the truth. Really early on in the first year of my business, I was an affiliate for somebody who I absolutely did not share values with. I didn't agree with how they sold things. They were not in integrity like I was. You know, we weren't in the same integrity, but I was persuaded quite heavily to sell their course for them and was told that it would, you know, it'd be really good for my career and all of these things. And so I really stupidly did it. And I lost a third of my audience because my audience couldn't trust me anymore because they knew that they didn't like the values of this other person, this other coach. And so they were like, wow, like we thought that Lisa stood for this, this and this, but actually she's selling this thing that actually doesn't align at all with her values. So the trust went quite rightly and I lost them and I had to gain back that trust over a period of time. So be very, very careful who you are an affiliate for, because who you're aligned with, especially now on social media, it's noticed who you're alignment with who you are, you know, if somebody has been either racist or homophobic or just not been a nice person online and you then sell their stuff, people notice. People notice and and they will make decisions about whether they buy from you anymore because of it. And I think that's kind of right. You know, who you align yourself with matters in business. So I think it's right that you're judged on who you are selling for. So yeah, just be a bit careful. I will be back in a couple of episodes, maybe in another two or three episodes time, 
to talk to you about how to have other people be an affiliate for you and your programs and what you need to think about when you decide to do an affiliate launch yourself for your own course, because it's very different than a normal launch. There is a lot to think about when it's your own affiliate launch and other people are going to be an affiliate for you. But I will come and talk to you about that. It's how we did a £1.7 million launch in April last year. And it's how, no, October last year. And it's how this year, in 2021, we just did a £2.5 million launch. We used affiliates and we did it in a really different way than most people. So I will come and talk to you about that as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Do look around at who you can be an affiliate for. It's such a great way of adding passive income into your business, or at least semi-passive income, and not having to do all of the work. And it's a real win-win situation if you're in partnership with somebody that thinks like you do. Okay, have a great rest of your day and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for listening to Making Money Online with Lisa Johnson. If you'd like to get hold of my guide to launching, go to lisajohnson.com forward slash launch and let's get you making money online.